Tuesday, the Northampton City Council voted to pass a resolution supporting a ceasefire in Gaza. The resolution calls for, quote, an immediate, enduring, and permanent ceasefire by both sides, suspension of unrestricted military aid from the United States, the provision of unrestricted life-saving humanitarian aid in Gaza, and the release of all hostages taken by Hamas and Palestinian political detainees, end quote. The resolution came after pressure from pro-Palestinian activists who came to meetings expressing their anger that the city council had not yet passed a resolution. Other groups, including the Jewish Federation of Western Mass, attended the meetings to voice their opposition to the resolution. We spoke to councillors Rachel Mayori and Stan Moulton, as well as Molly Parr, Vice President of the Jewish Federation of Western Mass, to learn more. The concerns that we were hearing from our community members were the kind of mounting humanitarian crisis that was happening and really the need for um, there to start being collective pressure um, for something to happen. Hearing the story, the very personal stories from uh, people who live here about their friends, their relatives who have been killed during uh, the Hamas attacks in Israel and during the bombardment of Gaza uh, were, were very moving. The current conflict is very nuanced. It's layered with historical, political, and religious complexities on which the city of Northampton has no official business taking a position on. It's a foreign policy issue and not for the purview of the city. If you want a sort of popular demand that is against the interest of the U.S. government, like a ceasefire to be met, then you have to put a lot of pressure on the government. I believe there's a, a cumulative impact for uh, federal officials, for example, our resolution will be sent to Congressman McGovern, to the U.S. Senators Markey and Warren, as well as to the uh, to the President. For like our Palestinian community members and our Muslim community members generally who spoke, um, it made them feel a lot safer and supported in their community. We heard some really harrowing stories about um, Islamophobia in Northampton, um, and knowing that the city sort of has their back and is with them in the struggle, I think meant a lot to Muslim community members. There was also a letter um, from several hundred Jewish community members talking about why they supported a ceasefire that was sent to city council. Mezuzahs were ripped off of doorposts at Smith College in the past two days. Swastika graffiti was found near Smith College on Elm Street last week right as this was ceasefire was being passed. Beta Hava itself received two bomb threats. It's not bringing any, any peace to us. It's just making us less safe. This is a tough issue and it's, it's a very emotional and you know, people feel very passionately. We just felt like after a while as leaders, we had to say something. It is now one of over 70 U.S. cities that have passed a ceasefire resolution. Thanks for watching and see you next week.